What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. Here on the channel, we discuss all things audio and video, new movies, new AV equipment. So if it's your first time here, tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. In for a review, we've got Terminator Dark Fate on 4K Blu-ray. I won't be reviewing the movie itself, I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 4.5K, it's got a 4K DI, it's rated R, runtime is 128 minutes, aspect ratio is 239 by 1, so there will be those black litter box bars. Well the movie's got a 4K DI supposedly, so that must mean it's 4K crisp and reference quality. Eh, it's close. Let's talk about how great the detail is first. If you haven't seen Linda Hamilton in a while, uh, she's aged quite a bit. Every wrinkle on her face and arms are so clean and sharp, it might be a little too good looking. What was impressive was how good some of the CG looked, especially when Arnold had half his skin torn off. That's not a spoiler, you knew it was going to happen, and why does he always have to lose an arm in these movies? Anyways, when Carl is all torn up, his blood and his skin look realistically wet and gooey in a lot of those shots. The same with whatever material is under Grace's skin, which sort of looked kind of like chicken wire to me. The scars on her body are even more defined over the standard Blu-ray's presentation, so I mean there's some fine attention to detail here. Now not every CG moment looked real. There's some questionable things here and there, like when the Terminators are jumping through the air, but I kind of expected less than perfect CG just from the trailers alone. The Rev-9 splitting in two and coming back together is pretty cool looking though. As for HDR, I found it to give the overall image some excellent brightness. It's not like other HDR transfers where the picture looks dim and dark, it's actually quite bright. The palette has a somewhat warmish tone seeing as they're in the desert for some of the movie, and the primary colors come across healthy and vibrant when comparing it to the regular Blu-ray. Black levels are richer and more contrasty, giving the image added definition while keeping shadow details cleanly intact. Anything that takes place in the future are great examples of Dolby Vision keeping those dark gradational tones under control. There's some eye-opening spectral highlights in Chapter 8 from the lasers and explosions and the dozen other explosions, and of course things like sunlight cascading and reflective surfaces have a nice twinkle as well. I'm reliable, I'm a very good listener, and I'm extremely funny. Audio is done in Dolby Atmos, and I thought it was an active mix throughout. I didn't think it was crazy active, but there was enough during the action scenes to really stand out. When the Rev-9 drops out of the air in Chapter 3, you can clearly hear the electricity crackle above your head. The chase in Chapter 5 fills the listening area with cars zipping back and forth within the lower channels, and there's things that blow by you from above. The plane collision sequence in Chapter 17 is probably the main highlight here. It gives you that full 360 degree audio immersiveness with a very active soundstage from every direction. Bass response has some crazy low end response. That part in Chapter 18 when Grace is swinging the chain will move tons of air in your home theaters. Bass it's hard and will definitely give your subwoofers a healthy workout. I found the soundstage to be wide and expansive, which gives this movie a nice grandiose feel, especially when the Terminator theme kicks in. Dialogue was always easy to hear, even when things are getting chaotic, without any issues. So for audio, I'm gonna go with a 9.5. The action parts are full of demo-worthy moments, and there's even some quiet ambiance scattered throughout. Bass response was great sounding, and if anything, I'd say this movie is a safe buy just for the Atmos track. For video, I'm gonna go with an 8.7. I thought this was a nice upgrade over the 1080p version. It's sharper with better textural improvements, and the finest details are rendered even better in 4K. There's some 4K crispness here and there, but I didn't think it was as clean as movies like Joker, and definitely not like Gemini Man. Still, Dolby Vision looked fantastic in this transfer with a bright image and some great black levels. Now if you're a Terminator fan, you may not like the direction they took the movie, but for me, I thought it was a fun enough watch. The picture looked great and the audio was even better. If you've got a nice home theater setup, I think this movie would make a great addition to your collection. Now if you want to grab this movie, I'll leave some links for it down below in the description. It does help out the channel by using those links, which helps us bring you more content like this. As always, thanks for watching. You can find us on social media, and if you want to support the channel, you can also find us on Patreon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again in the next one.